Hello and welcome to Ask the Blowfish, letting you know that deer are not as expensive as they sound. So our question today comes from Thomas Chaplin who asks, why do whales beach themselves? Does military sonar impact on them? Yes, I know that's technically two questions, but I'm doing a buy one get one free at the moment. So, you know, strap in for this. Now, the thing here, Thomas, is that there are a couple of different theories. None of them seem to be the key theory, but they all seem to act together. So there's disorientation, there's illness, and there's freak weather patterns. Pods of dolphins or pods of whales seem to be led by specific individuals. And if they get things wrong, they can bring the whole pod into danger. Another thing that has been postulated is that marine geologists have noticed that different sediments, things like sand, silt, that kind of thing, give off different patterns under sonar. So when the whales are swimming along, using sonar for echolocation, which is a great way to travel, I'm talking sat now built in, it gives off the equivalent of an oceanic mirage, confusing the dolphins or whales and leading to a beaching event. Now, whether military sonar actually impacts on dolphins and whales, well, the jury is still out on that. There's some science for and some science against. There are some definite facts though. Whales and dolphins will be able to pick up military sonar, but we just don't know if they're affected by it. There are some temporal links between beaching events and testing of military sonar, but again, we can't scientifically prove for or against. But if you want my opinion, there are worse things in the world than military sonar. The amount of plastic that we've been into the oceans day in and day out has a much bigger impact on things like whales and dolphins. So if you really want to make a difference, I wouldn't be shouting at the military, I'd be taking a bag for life down to the supermarket next time you do your shop. Yeah, you've been told. So thanks for the question, Thomas. It's a really, really good one. Anyone else out there? You want to know something? You know what to do. Ask the blowfish. So this is the end of the video. This is where you're meant to say things to your followers, telling them to subscribe and Twitter and Facebook and all that kind of thing. So it's a bit of a fourth wall breakdown, really. Um, kind of just filling time while the video ticks on, you know, gives you a chance to uh, click the link to subscribe and all that kind of stuff. You know, you know what to do. You want more blowfish. We know you do. So uh, see you soon.